this is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com. Having a coffee. It's 8 o'clock. We're going to be talking about if our bodies are even. Alright, now that's done. Let's get back into it today. Let me grab my black marker here. Are our bodies even? No, they're not. Now, why does this matter in tattooing? And most people be like, yeah, of course, one shoulder's higher than the other, one hand's bigger, one's this, one that. Yeah, of course, I know. But when we're doing a tattoo that's going to be spanning the actual, like, both planes of the body, the left and the right hand side, we want to try to get it as even as possible. So we're doing stencil placement on a body, more often than not, if we have one shoulder versus the other, one of them is going to be a little bit higher than the other, right? Usually the dominant arm of a person who is in this world going about existing doing whatever is going to usually hang a little bit lower than their non-dominant side which is going to be a bit higher so what does this mean when we're placing a tattoo well usually it means that if we're going perpendicular off the ground that tattoo is going to look crooked as all hell especially if it's going across the back across the chest something else like that right if you're trying to get something between two arms right on the back of the arm and they have to stay even it's not going to look like it's even even though to you spatially if you're looking at one arm versus the other that they are even so how do we fix this, right? How do we make it so that they can actually look a little bit more approximate and our clients who are placing these stencils on before we do the tattoo can feel secure in our ability that we actually know what we're doing. It's pretty simple. We stretch. You take a client, have them raise their hands above their head, just stand right like this, way up high. Reach, 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 reach. Look up towards the sky and then they'll bend down and touch their toes, stand up really calmly, kind of shake out. And what that does is it ends up utilizing all the muscles and the skeletal system in the root. The same way, kind of creates a little bit more evenness in the body and makes it kind of like level the hell out. If you do that before you're trying to place something that's going to be mirrored on two sides of the body, you're going to get a more level playing field. It's not hard, just have them stretch, touch their toes, reach for the sky, and come back down. This will end up dropping their less dominant arm and elevating, I guess, their more dominant arm. I had a hard time thinking of that word there. And it'll make it so that things actually appear more straight. It's not hard. You can do this with anything, especially if you're trying to think about like over or under, underdeveloped muscles that maybe be on one side versus the other. Have someone flex the underdeveloped muscle versus the overdeveloped muscle and put some blood in it before you place the tattoo stencil, right? Like think ahead. If you do that, you can guarantee that the product that the client is going to see before they give you permission to do the tattoo is going to look better. Anyways, simple short today. Are our bodies even? Nope. But there is a way through simple stretching, muscular manipulation, that we can make sure that people can see their tattoo stencils before they get tattooed are a bit more even. This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com, signing off.